Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Born Small Band again, and today I've got a video about how to restore your Mac to its like regular settings and everything. You're gonna wipe your hard drive of all of all of its data, so you're definitely gonna want an external hard drive for this. So um, now what you gotta do is shut down your computer, and uh, I would love it if you guys could please comment, rate, and subscribe. It would be great just to help me out since I made this video. Um, so let's get started. So what you want to do right here is hold down the option button and then turn on your computer. So um, it'll take you to the screen that you want to go to. So hold down the option button and then turn on the computer. And after a little while of a white screen, it will come up with two hard drives, not two hard drives, just two different selections. Now, the one on the left is just your Macintosh HD with all your data on it, and the one on the right is called Recovery with your um, version of OS X you have on your on your uh, Mac. So what you're wanna, gonna wanna do is definitely click on the right one, the Recovery one, and then it'll bring you to this screen, which will eventually load up into your OS X utilities. And you have four utilities. You have Disk Utility on the bottom, you can reinstall your OS X, you can restore from a time machine backup and get online help. Now, um, online help you definitely don't want to do. So what we're going to do for this video is definitely disk utility. So you're going to want to click continue and that will take you into this application. So as I said before, you're definitely going to want an external hard drive because if you do this, it will definitely delete all of your data on your hard drive. So get one of those. So once you're in this, you're going to click erase in the upper uh, the upper part and then you're going to want to keep it on extended journal and press erase in the right corner and then erase again and down in the right hand corner it's erasing my all of my hard drive right now so after that you're going to want to go up to the left corner and click disk utility and quit disk utility now after that you're going to want to restill reinstall your mac os x because obviously you want an operating system on there or you can't use your computer. So you're going to want to continue. You're going to want to click continue after you see what OS X you want and click continue. And then you're going to want to agree to the terms and conditions and install your new OS, not new, your OS onto your hard drive. And this will take a very long time. So just for this video, I thought you didn't want to see two hours of nothing, so I skipped it. And it'll it'll bring you to like the screen where you re you just enter all your settings. So I skipped that too. This is the end, so you didn't have to see me putting all all my settings in. It's pretty self-explanatory. So after this, it'll bring you right to your home screen, which is just uh just your home screen. It's brand new, very it's it's way faster than it was before. Now, if you don't already know how to put the data from your external hard drive back on your computer, I have a video for that, and then I have a separate video for how to get your GarageBand and your iMovie back on your computer, even pages or Keynote or Numbers. So, um, if you guys want to check out those videos, you definitely can, and uh, I'll put a link up in the right-hand corner and the left-hand corner. You'll see those. Thanks, guys.